with the ever-changing requirements of modern software development, it is known that Kubernetes is one such system that will fulfill these needs. If you are someone who wants to get started with Kubernetes, you are definitely in the right place. Let us start off by understanding what it really is with the help of a simple example. Kindly take up this time to subscribe to us and do not forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from the Eduraker YouTube channel. Also, to learn more about new trending technologies, visit our page, the link to which is given in the description box below. Imagine you're building a web application. So within this web application, the structure might be monolithic. It might compromise several modules, components, or even layers. But externally, it is a single web application, or you could also say it is a single service. Despite having different modules, the application is built and deployed as one service for all platform, that is desktop, personal computer, mobile, etc., within a single container that is a virtual machine. Let us assume the web application grows over time and becomes large. It is now extremely challenging to make changes over the code accurately. Also, the size of the application can slow down the startup time. Moving on, what if you want to add new updates to this web application? You must redeploy the entire application as one. And during this process, in case you stop and try to restart the service, the customers on your website will not be able to access anything for that period of time, which could eventually lead to a potential loss of money. Also, bugs in any one of the components can bring down the entire process. And since all the components of the application are identical, bugs can definitely impact the availability of the application. Now, what if you have a sudden spike in traffic and have to serve 20 times the number of your usual customers? In such a situation, you have to very quickly deploy new servers, which takes a lot of effort. Later, when traffic dies down to a normal level, you now have 20 times the number of your usual servers. It can also be challenging to scale when different modules have conflicting updates or resource requirements. So instead of creating a monolithic application, we can define each component as a separate, loosely coupled service. And then we could virtualize each of these services using a Docker container. Not only can the application start easily, but the services can also be deployed independently. With Docker containers, we can easily scale any number of instances up and down according to the application's requirements. But this is definitely easy to manage when we're dealing with just three or four containers. Now, let's say we had to deal with thousands such containers. How do we really keep track of the containers that are healthy and the ones that are not? Orchestrating and managing these containers at the same time can be an extremely tedious task. And this led to the need for container orchestration tools. So this is where Kubernetes comes into the picture. Kubernetes was originally designed by Google and is now maintained by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. With Kubernetes, you package your website files as containers or pods, which you can run on any instance in your Kubernetes cluster. As you can see, pods are running on nodes, which are physical systems having hardware components that are a part of the Kubernetes cluster. This implies that every service that you create runs on separate containers, and this will allow you to work and manage services independently. Pods can be running on any available node in the cluster, which has enough resources for a pod to work. In simple words, Kubernetes is an open source system for automating deployment, rolling updates, scaling services, and managing containerized applications. Kubernetes works with Amazon EC2, Rackspace, GCP, IBM Cloud, etc. Also, hypergrowth companies like GitHub, WeWorks, CloudBoost, Walmart are becoming acclimated to building, shipping, and managing containers via Kubernetes. On average, anyone with Kubernetes knowledge can expect to earn between 5 to 6 lakhs per annum in India, whereas they can expect an average salary of $140,000 per annum in USA. As the Fortune 500 are using Kubernetes, the demand for expertise in this field is rapidly increasing which in turn requires IT professionals who can work on this tool. So what are you waiting for? Begin your journey with Edureka's interactive Kubernetes certification training that is curated to help you learn how to set up your own Kubernetes cluster, configure a networking between pods, and secure the cluster against unauthorized access. I hope you had a great time understanding what is Kubernetes in five minutes. If you have any queries, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. 
Until next time, thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!